Hi, I'm Patrick, and this is the Mach-E Vlog. Today, we're going to take a look at a new feature with the Mustang Mach-E, and that's EV route planning via Apple Maps, via Apple CarPlay on the Mustang Mach-E. So, let's go. Recently, Apple added EV route planning to their Apple Maps. And of course, because it's integrated into Apple CarPlay, we now have access to that in the Mustang Mach-E. And there are gonna be other EVs supported. There may be some other EVs supported already. I, I'm not sure, but it allows you to use your familiar Apple Maps to do route planning and have it you know, add in the charging stops. So what we're gonna to do today is take a little bit of a look at how that works, how well it works, and do a quick comparison to see what it recommends versus Ford Pass and a better route planner to see what the differences are. I'm gonna pick a route that I'm sort of familiar with that's going from Denver to Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, I know about what stops that I would normally take. We've done that uh, a couple of times. So we're gonna take a look at that route and see how each one of those does. So first of all, you have to set up your car, uh, whatever it is, uh, a Mustang Mach-E for us, in Apple Maps. There is a link that I'll put down in the description so that it gives you the instructions. They're, they're pretty straightforward and clear. The only caveat that I had a problem with uh, is that I needed to be in the car with Apple CarPlay running before the one option would show up so that I could add the vehicle. I'm not sure if that was a bug or maybe it's just something that I did wrong or whatever, but if you are having trouble finding um, where it says to add a vehicle, just go ahead and sit in the car with Apple CarPlay running and then all of a sudden it magically appears. Once you do that, when you do your route planning, it allows you the option of you know, adding the vehicle so that it'll, it'll um, plan the stops out for that vehicle. You could have multiple EVs and you could also tell it like skip the charging stops. So if you're back in your gas powered car, it won't plan those in for you. So I already set that up. I'll put the link to the description below so that you can set yours up. And now we're gonna go take a look at a couple of examples and show you how it looks. So here we are, we're in Apple CarPlay going to tap on it. We're going to search for a destination. Let's see. We'll just use the keyboard. I'm going to enter in Las Vegas. Whoop! I saw it for a second. There we go. And it's probably taking a little bit longer than normal because it's adding in the charging stops. It's also warning me that we will change time zones. And that's about right. Like I would probably do about five stops, four or five stops going down to uh, Las Vegas. And I'm not sure if I can zoom in here, but let me hit go. Let's we'll see what Starting it Starting route to Las Vegas in about two hours, 12 minutes. You will need to make one stop in Edwards to charge your vehicle. Edwards is a new station. I just used it for the first time this last weekend. Let's see doesn't really let me look at my route in detail because what I like to do is see like where are all the charging stops. So this is not great. Let's see if I do that. No, I'm learning right now. If I zoom all the way out. So there's one. I can tell that's in Edwards and then that's in Grand Junction, I'm guessing. Green River, you always have to stop at. Richfield or Salina over here. And that's probably like Cedar City or uh, Washington, Utah. And then into, that's pretty much exactly what we did the last time we went to Vegas with the out of spec race. Um, so not too bad. I don't like that it doesn't show, you know, like all of my stops so that I can sort of adjust as I, you know, look ahead to see what I might want to do, but not too bad, very quick, and it added the routes. Now let's try and see what happens if I do that in a better route planner. So we're going to end this route, go to my apps here. We'll go click a better route planner. And I was already looking at Las Vegas, Nevada. And if I hit start, you could see that that one was a plan. That one was planning for six stops.
and again it's not really giving me a lot of information it's loading up alternatives i don't want to load up alternatives i just want to see where all of my stops are at six charges that's good to know but i want to see which six charges hmm that's nice i can't really uh, i can The better route planner interface is not great on iPhone just yet. Okay, let me go ahead. We haven't started this route. Let's hit start and then see if I can do anything with it. Nope. Okay. So we're going to hit exit. And now let's do Ford Pass. So if I go to navigation. I'm going to go and say Las Vegas again. Now, I already like this a lot better. It's giving me like there's several different options. Of course, I would probably want the shortest, but it's showing me that go a slightly longer route won't take uh, actually, uh, almost 20 miles difference, but only takes seven minutes longer. Gives me the weather forecast at the de destination. So that's really cool. Uh, if I want to look for parking or charging near my destination, and I'm assuming I can get more and do things like hotels or whatever. But we're going to hit go. EV chargers are being added to the trip. And there we go. So let's see, it's saying five chargers as well. So that's agreeing with Apple Maps. And it's also telling me some details like two hours and 40 minutes of charging. And then there's my overall route. They're showing me that that blue circle is my current range if I were just to drive. I can pull up information about my next stop and it'll show some details that it's a uh, part of the Ford network. They have plug and charge, they have fast charging. Um, I can also then skip to, to my next stop, Mexify America, Sam's Club. I wish it would tell me the city, it doesn't, but I know that's in Grand Junction. Then Electrify America, Green River, it's telling me a 30 minute charge there. Love's Travel Stop, that's in Salina, Utah. Again, I wish they had the city. I just happen to know that one. And it's 35 minutes to 60%. Uh, Electrify America, Walmart Supercenter, that's uh, hard to tell because it doesn't tell me the city. I think that might be Cedar City. 45-minute um, charge to 77%. And then we arrive in Las Vegas. So um, I like the Ford app and all the details, but it's very nice that we have some other options, including Apple CarPlay, Apple Maps, and uh, a better route planner. So which one do you prefer? I, You know, it's like I've sort of gone back and forth and it's like every time there's a new app that comes out, I get excited that there might be a new option, but the Ford Pass option is still really nice to have, uh, has a lot of detail and the navigation has a lot of other options as well in there, such as, you know, giving me some weather, uh, parking information at the location, a lot of good info in the Ford Pass app. But if you are, you know, hooked on Apple Maps, uh, it provides you at least with the information to get you to that first charging stop. And then as you go along, it'll give you more and more information for each of the charging stops. So very slick to have multiple ways of doing your EV route planning in the Mach-E and hopefully we'll have more and more added. Uh, I'm still thinking that Google Maps should be in there at some point with their own route planning. Right now on their website, if you do a, a, a basically a road trip planning, you can say add charging stops or uh, add chargers along the route, but that still isn't exactly what you want to do. You want to have your car's information provided in there. I do want to point out that the way that Apple Maps is getting the data from the Mach-E is that you have to have the Ford Pass app set up and installed, which you probably already do. And it uses that information to update uh, Apple Maps with your current state of charge. So then it can provide you with a better estimate of like how much charge you're going to need to get to the next stop. With a better route planner, there are two different ways of getting that information into 
the system. One is to use an ODB2 dongle, and that's actually a little device that plugs in under the dash of the Mach-E, and then that can pump in like your state of charge and all of that information directly into a better route planner. There's also an app called Tronity that if you have a subscription to that, it can provide real-time data to a better route planner. And then as you're driving along, it'll like periodically check and update a better route planner with your current state of charge. The disadvantage to that is like, it's another app, another subscription that you have to manage. But the advantage is, is like Tronity also has some other cool features as, such as tracking all of your charging costs, whether it's home or away. So a lot of really cool options. Uh, it sounds like it's really complicated. If you want just the easiest thing, I think Ford Pass, uh, the sync system, the in-car navigation is probably the way to go. Uh, but if you are really liking the look and the feel and you're used to using Apple Maps, that's a great option to have. And of course, a lot of EV fans love a better route planner because it has a lot of information, a lot of ways that you can tweak your settings so that you can do you know, more accurate route planning. Um, it, it can account for wind and luggage and you know, a lot of different little things. I have another video that shows that uh, i think the car is getting ready to power off um but uh i have another video on that and we'll go into some more detail on just overall ev route planning so let me know which of those three do you prefer to use and what improvements do you want to see what other apps would you like to see you know added to ev route planning for me personally i want to see google maps because i use android mostly but uh you know let me know drop a comment down below Thanks for tuning in and watching this whole video. Thank you again to our patrons, the unbridled patrons, the engaged patrons, and of course, the whisper patrons, as we always say. And just remember, whatever you drive, even if you don't have to do EV route planning, enjoy the ride. Bye.